Hi, AT from CNC at Home. I get almost inundated with emails from companies wanting me to review their products, that sort of thing. Most of the time, I have absolutely no interest in doing that. They have nothing to do with CNC at Home, the kind of things we do. Every once in a while, there's a product that catches my eye that's like, hey, we could use that on the channel or somehow integrate it. So the paint shaker video we did recently. I was approached by a company wanting me to test out their compressed air duster. It's a nice little handheld battery operated rechargeable thing. It's also a vacuum, little tiny thing. So I thought it would be a, a really kind of fun thing to test out. When I'm cleaning equipment, whether it's my router, the laser, my computer, uh, electronics, those types of things, a lot of times I use what they call canned air and you and clean the dust out, that sort of thing. I'm hoping this will have that same kind of power to be able to just blow dust out of areas and then potentially the vacuum side of this to suck some of that dust and things out of electronics. Let's go ahead and go over to the uh, table that I got set up and we can do a box opening on this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you end up liking this little uh, compressor air duster thing, vacuum, I'll put a link down in the description where you can pick one up for yourself. Let's go ahead and head over there. Okay, we've got a problem. I already have a big project going here. On uh, my old TV, I have this TCON board and I'm hoping that's the issue. I've ordered a replacement for that and I'm waiting for that to come in. And in the meantime, this is taking up all of my space. You may notice down here, got a couple saxophones. Let me move the camera. I'm going to be heading off to Memphis to do some recording in a couple weeks. And so I've got the Barry that I normally use, Barry as in baritone sax. And my good friend from the B3 is letting me use his baritone sax, which used to be mine, but many years ago I sold it to him and now it's come back home for a few weeks so I can honk on that a little bit. We need to find a different place to review this, do an unboxing. Where oh where? Maybe over at my desk. Well it's a little cramped here on my desk but hopefully it'll work. This isn't that big. Let's go ahead and get this open. Looks like there's a few pieces. We got the main handle or some vacuum pieces. We'll get this figured out see how it all works. Oh, that plastic's a little tougher than I thought it was. I thought I'd be able to just get that opened up. Set this off to the side. Oh, here we go. Now look at the box. It might make it easier. Okay, so got a user manual. Hopefully that won't be needed too much. It should be pretty straightforward. USB-C charging cable. We have an adapter. Got a little brush thing on it that comes off. Okay, so this probably attaches on there. Maybe the other attachments can go on here. Little brush, that'll be nice for cleaning up dust and such. And this looks like the dust receptacle. There's a filter of some sorts in here. Ah, here we go. So that comes off. This filter comes out. This is metal. Very cool. And then there's a little pleated filter in here. I don't know if the camera's going to focus on that or not. So that just goes in and locks in place with just a little turn. 
Okay, so this is where all the, the junk gets caught. There's a little flapper in there to hold it in place. Very similar to the little vacuum duster thingies that you have hanging on the wall. Okay, and this opening then lets you plug in that sort of thing. All right, let's just set that over here. Here's the main unit. It comes in this nice little mesh bag. It's actually, it's padded too. That's kind of nice. It's very reusable. So I can use this as a storage bag, need be. Okay, so there's a controller here, on off kind of thing, or not on off, but power. So we've got a low power and then an off setting. And then there's a button on the front, which does nothing at the moment. I'm guessing this probably needs to be charged up. So this connects onto the back. Like so, you just push it on, and maybe there's a specific way. This should just go right on there. Are they all the same? Oh, I've got to turn this harder. I'm just looking at it now. So I line it up and I've got to give this good... There we go. That's what was being so hard. And then this can just get on there like that. I guess I want this clocked another 90 degrees. So let me just undo this. Turn it 90 degrees. Click it into place. There we go. I wanted this down at the bottom. So, oh, and there's a dot right here. That's helpful. Okay, so in the future, I just look for this little dot. That's going to need to be up on top. I guess the sticker kind of helps too. And so it'll draw air in from here, and or draw air in from this side. So that'll be the vacuum side of stuff. It'll draw everything and suck everything in like that. But if I don't want to use it as a vacuum, then I can... Just leave this off, and apparently this blows air out of it. Okay, it looks all pretty straightforward. There's some instructions here about cleaning and washing the filter, drying it out. Okay, looks pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and, yeah, it's not doing anything, so it probably needs to get charged up. I will take the charging cable hook that up, get it charged up, and then we'll see what we can vacuum and clean off with this. While this is getting charged up, I thought I would quickly read through the manual. Um, not the most clear manual. It's a vacuum though. It's You turn it on, you turn it off, you clean it. I did notice in the instructions here that it has a DC brushless motor, so that should have good power and good longevity. It does charge up with just your standard 5 volts, so you use your USB-C cable, plug that into one of your wall warts and get that charging. So we've got the, the main pieces, we've got the brush head, we've got the extension rod, we've got the dust storage hood, and the filter in here, they're saying that it's a HEPA filter. So that's kind of cool. That means it's going to catch some really fine particles. The method of use is a little, little oddly worded. When using this machine, turn the knob switch clockwise to adjust the suction slash blowing force of the fan to the appropriate size. Press and hold the start button. The motor will work. When not in use, turn the left knob to the bottom and the motor will turn off and start. I think they mean stop. So basically, they just when you're not using it, you just turn that knob all the way to the off position. And when you're using it, you can then vary the amount of suction by turning that up or down. So this is showing in the configuration of a vacuum. So your attachments attach to essentially the tank, which is where it collects all the junk. If you're using it as a blow gun, then you just don't have anything on it and it blows air out. That's what I'm curious to see how well that works. And it just talks about how to you know, disassemble this. We've already seen that. This uh, comes apart fairly easily. 
pictorially they do show that you can wash that filter and then just make sure to let it dry. Can't wait for this thing to get charged up. I'm curious to see how it works. I put the main unit on the charger and I just left it overnight. It took a while for it to get charged up and eventually it started working. So that was good. This has a hefty battery in it. Um, you can feel the weights down here in the handle, um, so it's not the motor. Let me just look up real quick to see if I can get a number on how big that battery is. I don't see anything in the packaging of the manual that gives us a number. I will check online to see if that has some information. If it does, it'll be on the screen somewhere. I'll put it in as a note. Let's give this thing a test. See how, uh, how well it blows and vacuums. So I turn the power all the way up and then I push the button. Whew, yeah, that blows. If you're like me, I tend to eat while I'm at my desk, and there's probably a ton of little crumbs and stuff down here inside of the keyboard. I want to use this uh, to see if I can blow any of this junk out. Oh. <laughs> Wow, I don't know if any of that showed up on camera, but there was a ton of stuff that came out of here. It was blue all the way over here onto my laptop and stuff. So that, uh, that did a good job. Let's do some more vacuuming. There's some dust up here. Oh yeah, that cleans that off real quickly. This, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Yeah, that did a great job. Bunch of gunk here in my saxophone case. That worked. Kind of the wrong time of year for stuff in the car, but there's some dirt. Let's see if it picks all this stuff up. Oh yeah. There's dust and dirt out in the clubhouse. Let's go to the trash can and take a look how uh, much stuff this caught and how easy it is to clean. Now that we've done a bunch of vacuuming with this, let's open up this canister and filter, see how dirty it is, see how easy it is to clean. I've got a trash can right here. Let's take a look. First thing we do is we'll just give this a little turn and this should get the actual vacuum part off. Set that aside. Then we can pull the filter out it's just a little clip here. Let's give that a pull. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on it. You see all of that? And there's a bunch of stuff in here. I don't know, can you see all that gunk in there? Should be able to just oh, dump that out. 
This should be completely washable. It's just plastic and all the components. Uh, there's a couple screws in there, but the rest is just plastic. So if you need to clean that out. And this. <laughs> wow. You can get the big chunks off of this pre-filter. And then this HEPA filter. It used to be white. Look at it now. So that caught a lot of the gunk. I bet if we use the blower, we can get a, a bunch of that off of there. Well, hasn't turned white again, but it's certainly a much lighter color than it was. So, this comes in handy for cleaning itself. Overall, this did a really good job. I, I think the, the compressor part for blowing is going to be really great for dusting out electronics, computers, and that sort of thing. The bonus is the little vacuum attachment that you can put on there and do some little cleaning up around. Not sure if I'll use this uh, speed adjustment on the back very much. It, uh, it is, I've been using it at full blast. Let's take it, you know, here's full blast. Wow, that had some push to it. Not quite sure why you'd use it. Just, you can blow candles out. For a nice little breeze. It'll go pretty slow. Anyway, that's a nice little feature if you need less air going through it for some reason, depending on what you're trying to do. This might come in handy when trying to start a campfire. <sighs> Get some air down in there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? This works really well. I'll give it a thumbs up for sure. This was fun to play around with and can get some really good use here at the CNC at home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like this little vacuum blower thing, I have a link down in the description where you can buy one for yourself. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects. Oops. That's a fast way to dry your mouth out. I think it's got some got some blow to it. Okay, that should do it. It's a wrap. Ooch, ooch, ooch.